With the workload analysis, we can scrutinize the allocation of work to resources based on selected parameters. A resource category may contain human resources or machines. In this example, we will look at finished machines, an area that often determines the capacity of a job shop. We will look at the monthly period so that we can see a big picture of what work is in the shop. We have the option to flex the dates between the earliest or the latest, but we'll choose the scheduled start and finish. And we will display the next 15 months. Selecting Analyze, we'll take a look at all of the assigned tasks to the finished machine resources. In this shop, we have six finished machines. Based on knowledge of this shop, it is ideal for the finished machines to be running 20 hours a day. Looking at the workload for the rest of this month, December we are in pretty good shape, flying just under capacity, same with January. But looking at February here, there's a bit of an overage of work that exceeds what the shop can run through the current assigned finishing task. What this tells me is that there are three actions that we can take to manage this workload and still meet our delivery dates. If we take a closer look at what is going on, we can change our view to a weekly period and analyze again, and they'll give us a better view of what's going on in each week. Option one is to move the work around. It is possible that pulling some of the work down the timeline could alleviate some of the burden on the finishing machines. So another possibility is to look at the workload on another category of machines, perhaps boring mills, that could take some of the tasks assigned to the finished machines. If they have some unfilled capacity before those weeks, tasks can be assigned to the boring mills to allow the finished machines to get ahead. Selecting the bar gives us a view of all of the tasks that are assigned to take place during that period. These are the tasks that can be reassigned to boring mills, or we can move into option two, which is overtime. Maybe some overtime can be scheduled in the finishing department, but perhaps in the boring mill department a couple weeks ahead, so even more work can be moved from finishers to boring mills. Option three is to outsource. If you call up an outsource partner and ask about their availability months in advance, never scramble at the last minute to find a shop to do additional outsource machining. Regularly check on your workload, as things may change between now and then. Jobs may be delayed, put on hold, some things may get done faster than expected, all of which we can see from the workload analysis. Answer questions such as, do you know what your finished machine workload is in the third week of February? Does the shop have the capacity to take on a program of 12 tools or not? Don't reject orders based on fear that they won't be delivered on time. TS Tracker gives business owners the tools to make tactical decisions about planning workload to reduce the risk on individual people, maximize capacity, and increase profits.